Turkish Dance, page 47 of the Debbie Cracknell book. The right hand picking is really important for the first line of this piece. Throughout the first line, your thumb will always pluck the G string, the index finger will always pluck the B string, and the M finger will always pluck the first E string. You're going to play in groups of eight like this. It will go, the right hand will go, thumb, index finger, middle finger, thumb, index finger, middle finger, thumb, index. So if I put that together, that group of eight, it will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You're going to do that pattern three times and you can practice this just on open strings to get this hand working. So here's, here is what it sounds like doing it three times together. Second time. Third time. Okay, so for the first bar, the left hand is going to start with the chord of D minor. You're going to have to put press down three fingers together. Okay, so you're going to put finger one on the first fret on the E string, which is an F note. At the same time, either finger three or finger four, the little finger, it's up to you. I prefer the finger three. You're going to put finger three on the D note, fret three on the B string, and put finger two on the second fret, A note on the G string, so the three fingers down together and you're going to hold the three fingers down throughout the whole of the first bar. Now, if you do the first group of eight with the right hand, it will sound like this. Now, the second bar, finger two stays on the A note. Take finger one and three off. Now, move your first finger that was on the F, move it across to the first fret on the B string, which is a C note. Now, do the same Hold the fingers down on the C and the A throughout the whole second bar and now do that group of eight in the right hand picking for the second time now. The third bar, both fingers come off in the left hand and finger one that was on the C note now goes across to the first fret on the G string which is a G sharp and you hold the G sharp throughout the whole bar and now this is the third time you do the picking, the group of eight. fourth bar of the first line the last bar of the first line the left hand fingers go back to the C and the A note down together the picking pattern changes a little bit in this bar there's only five notes in this bar but your thumb and your fingers pluck the same strings but you do it in this order you go thumb index middle back to the index and then back to the thumb and then stop the strings so the whole first line will sound like this. Okay, second line. Throughout the second, third and fourth line of the piece, the right hand picking now, your thumb just plucks the bass notes. And then you put the melody notes working with the I and the M finger. Okay, so the first bar of the second line starts like this. You pluck the open A bass note, and then on the melody note you go A, A, open B, C, B, A. So I'll play that bar. Second bar is a now an E bass note, and it goes E to an open B, and then there's a quaver S, then E, B, E. So I'll play that bar now. E, B, rest, E, B, E. Now the third bar of the second line starts with an E bass note, and it goes thumb on the E bass note, and then B, B, C. last bar of the second line is the thumb back to the A bass string and then a C note. A, C, quaver S, then A, C, and then D, E. So if I put 
play the second line together, that will sound like this. Okay, the third line. The thumb now plucks a D bass note, and it goes D, F, quaver S, then F, F, G, F. Second bar of the third line is open A, bass note, to an open E, quaver S, E, E, F, E. Third bar of the third line is an E bass note, and it goes E to the fret 3 D, quaver S, and then D, D, E, F. Then the last bar of the third line is an A bass note, then the fingers, the A and the M finger, are going to pluck two notes together. Finger one on a C, so that's plucked with the index finger, and an open E together. So the last bar of the third line will be thumb on the A bass string, then the fingers, quaver rest, thumb, fingers, thumb, fingers. I'll play that bar again. Okay, now the fourth line, the first two bars of the fourth line are the same as the first two bars of the third line. So the first two bars of the fourth line will be this again. D, F, quaver rest, F, F, G, F. Second bar of the fourth line is open A bass note to an open E, quaver rest, E, E, F, E. Now the third bar of the fourth line will be an open low E to a D, quaver rest, and then it goes D, D, and then to fret two on the B string, which is a C sharp. And then to fret one, which is a C natural, a normal C. And then open B. So that will sound like this. E, D, quaver S, D, D, C sharp, C, B. Then the very last bar of the fourth line is an open A bass note to an A melody note. And it goes thumb, finger, quaver S, thumb, finger. Crotchet rest. Okay, so the very last line of the piece now, the first three bars are the same as the first three bars of the first line. So you go back to that picking pattern again in the right hand in a D minor chord. Next bar. Third bar of the last line, G sharp. You do for the very final bar of the piece you go back to the C and the A in the left hand pressing the fingers down together but what you do in the right hand your thumb plucks the G string which is an A note and then immediately plant your thumb on the D string what you're going to do now is strum with the index finger down the way across the G the B and the E string and the reason that I, that I touch the D string is if you accidentally strum the D string, if I didn't put my thumb there, it would sound like this. Now if I put my thumb there, that blocks a string, so it won't make a noise if I accidentally catch that string. And I can give it a good strum. Okay, so you're going to do the strum, down the way, then back up, and then back down, and then stop the string, so you get a bit of an impact at the end. So the last bar will sound like this. Okay. So the very last line of the piece will sound like this when I put it together. <laughs> 